Yeah, so we just like give you, you know, so you know the politician name. So, so you know, they did not follow. They did not follow the the service commission rules. You know, you understand. So, so, so because they want to get rid of that judge because remember, in you know, Kingston Metropolitan area, you know, majority of criminal them you know, are aligned to the PMP because majority of the Kingston Metropolitan area are PMP communities. So you know, say so Dadrick a lot of them in you know, the Dadrick take out, you know. Them know him, you know, because everybody know him as a legend, you know. You understand? You don't want Dadrick look for you, you know, because you understand. Because when Dadrick find you and them thing, you put up in a resistance, preemptive strike, you understand? Dadrick is the art of one of the art of the, you understand, not that that kind of policing, you know. So it also gives some background at Dadrick. You know, Dadrick he, he was enlisted in the Jamaica Constabulary Force. On January 22nd, 1974, and trained at Mobile Reserves, Kingston. Then he was assigned to Mobile Reserve um, from July 1974 to 1983 for nine years. Yeah, man, and during that time, you know, Mobile Reserve was the one that was lifting all of the load when it come on to the crime fighting thing, you know. The, at that time, you know, police had a bulletproof, you know, and they have to deal with the hot step of them and all them things, you understand? And you know, this is a man you know, for me, he was in uniform and you know, a fight crime, you know, real crime fighter. You understand? So, you know, that's why we're we appealing to you guys to so help him, you understand. We know that you have some police and them think that them rather to wait until you know one of them colleagues um you know dead, then you see them um you know buy six hundred dollar ticket figure out jump you can them thing that say them are gonna represent. We don't want nobody to represent nothing on them thing, they represent no. Use a credit card, man. Zell or um, to the or the link below, and you know, and and tap up Dadrick anything, man. You understand? Make him him get something so he can save him save him out because the man you know thing exhausted because him of prostate cancer. You understand? Uh, I am just doing this because I know the man, and you understand? What I'm saying when I used to be at Tonsby and this man that flying squad, I want him to do that anti crime. This is a man as you involved in a shootout and them thing. Hey, that you can left a court for come help us. And the man is afraid. You understand? You have to wonder if the man they have like a like a like the man they have some some magnificent power and them thing. Because you understand a boy we all you know house on a beach at and that you just come and walk past everybody and go inside it. And you don't know when you hear clum 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 clum. You know say and you see legend I come out with a gun and them thing. I hold up a police say, why him deal and them thing. I mean, I know what they mean by that. But that's the kind of man, you understand? But the police was, you know, he never used a thief and get a body and them thing. Eh? So he wasn't a thief, you understand? So that's why he never reached past inspector. Because he's fierce, you know. You understand what I'm saying? That you kind of know. He me tell you, say, my big money, man, a boy, and a man, a police boy. So, you know, the force, you know, some of them that are to check for him. So they might say, no, no, man, as but we hear him and them thing because the man a crime fighter. You know, so moving on. So um yeah, him, him spent nine years on mobile reserve, you know, working on various squad fighting crimes and ruthless criminal all over Kingston metropolitan areas. In January nineteen eighty three he was transferred to St. Angela Division, Kansan Spring Police Station, where we serve until nineteen eighty seven. So right let's say you know when he meet up with bigger Ford, you know. You understand from eighty three to eighty seven, you know, so big Ford name start ring more now, you know, because and when the legend and man like Arthur Fabs and all the man there and Robert and the man them do all some rock, you don't know too big a food, the big a food name and him get the credit and them thing that, that so the legend was easy and you don't know you don't try to spoil the thing, you understand what I'm saying? You know. So we know we know about this money and them thing that from where I got school because um when that the accounts and spring them tiny, we have to take bus and them thing, the accounts and spring at the bus park for go to my school, St. Mary's College, you know. You understand? So a long time the man had about it, you know. So we have to give a lot of respect to him. The man they a real crime fighter, ruthless crime fighter, the man and I'm no fear in a man. You understand? So in 1997 he was transferred to CIB headquarters. They said them called glass house, you know. You understand? You know, they were equivalent to um to eradication police, but nowhere near eradication. But glass house police, them the difference them. Call them that the elite detective and them thing and Back in the days when it's elite and the lost investigator and a brave police them there. 
You understand them? Then the police and them go all over Jamaica and you understand and take on criminal preemptive strikes and them thing. Cause I want to put up in a resistance, you know, say a clam, 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 boom, 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 boom. You understand? I just saw them I saw them police said do it. Yeah, you understand? So you know, so him served at Glass House until nineteen eighty nine. In nineteen eighty nine, the um that you can you understand. So a long time the man had lived about it, you know. So I forget a lot of respect to him. Man, they a real crime fighter, ruthless crime fighter. The man and I no fear in a man. You understand? So in 1997, he was transferred to CIB headquarters. They said them called glass house, you know. You understand? You know, they were equivalent to um to eradication police, but nowhere near eradication. But glass house police, them the difference, them call them that the elite detective and them thing and Back in the days when it's elite and those investigators and uh, brave police them there. You understand them? And then the police and them go all over Jamaica and you understand and take on criminal preemptive strikes and them thing. I want to put up in a resistance, you know, say clam, 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 boom, 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 boom. You understand? I just saw them I saw them police do it. You understand? So you know, so him served at Glass House until 1989. In 1989. The um Dajik was transferred to Kinson Central Police Station until he spent two years there. In, in 1991, he was transferred back to Flying Squad because the man expertise was needed to tackle some of the most dangerous criminals. Yeah, man, because even when Dajik was at Central, you know, he man agreed nicely, you know, Leroy nicely, you know, you understand? Take out the um, Natty Morgan, you know, but. Holy for people don't even know that. You understand? I've done I never done anything about Leroy and I say, but you know there's a thumb drive the thumbnail to show you that he's the man that you know that licked down um nothing man but yeah man here is the next man man the legend. You understand? Any this man here and Leroy and I say, man is like the man them have some supernatural power. Can of human chat of fire and house them a walk go inside it. And you understand I just saw the man they make up. You, you know. Them kind of detective you want and them thing. And the man is afraid of them, man. Fear you know, them on the vocabulary, you know. You understand? But I think this is the biggest fear we have right now of losing mouse and them thing. So that's why I want to help him. You understand? Yeah. You know, um, just donate, you know, just donate to the cell or, or to the or to the link below. You understand? In the description part of the channel, I help the legend man. You understand? The man have prostate and him need help to save his womb. You understand? We don't want him to lose his womb because he have prostate, you know, um, you know, stage five prostate cancer. You understand? So everything that is there, it goes directly to him. You know, you know, middle man or this now or that and him thing. We just want help for the man. So, you understand? So we continue to give you, you know, background about the great Dadrick and the legend. You know, you understand what I'm saying? You know, so yeah, um, you know, in the early nineties now, you know, when I remember you know, when um crime start get out on, you know, you understand and them you know them the, the, the government decided you know, so they are start a new unit, you know, for tackling the crime island wide, you know. You see just like what is going on right now with CTAP. So the farmers as at um Prime Minister um PJ party he had named the team, you know, acid, you know. You understand? But you understand is in a new task force and Dadrick as one of the original, the original member of this group, you understand? And you know so the war activists them said them come down, but come down upon the Prime Minister and them thing man. you understand the uptown criminal them and them have to change it from acid to special anti crime task force. Yeah, man, due to the work to them in Jamaica, who have always made excuses for Jamaican criminals. You understand? So, you know, after, you know, after special anti-crime task force, you know, them send, them send Dadrick Gahan over. We him spend five years. And then after that, he went to Sentan, 2002 to 2006. In 2006, he was transferred to Kinson Central Police Station, where his career ended due to is being charged with assault. Daddy Kenya has served the Jamaican people for over 37 years and a month. Daddy Kenya is now sick, diagnosed with stage 5 cancer in July 
2022 and is currently being treated in, in an Atlanta hospital, Georgia, for his illness in 1995. You understand? So, you know, we just give it, it with us a love. We we'll go back, we we'll just tell you something now that, you know, you will never hear. In 1995, with the blessing and the approval of the police hierarchy, he was given permission to do an interview and was featured on the television, television program, Profile on JBC, which is now TVJ, hosted and moderated by the late Ian Boyne. Your man, Dadrick, is the sole police officer who recovered the most illegal guns in the history of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. He received more firearm recovery commendation and rewards than any other police officer in the force history. He was transferred to Kingston Central Police Station until he spent two years there. In, in 1991, he was transferred back to Flying Squad because the man expertise was needed to tackle some of the most dangerous criminals. Yeah, man, because even when that joke was at Central, you know, he man agreed nicely, you know, Leroy nicely, you know, you understand? Take out the um, Natty Morgan, you know, but a whole heap of people don't even know that. You understand? I've done, I never done anything about years of witnessing murders, shootouts, killings of his colleague. You understand? Officer involved shooting, domestic violence, fellow, fellow officer getting hurt or killed, you know, and I mean, the list can go on. You understand? And I know it must be overwhelming. You understand? For all the things that this man has been through in his career. You know? Yeah, man. Dadrick Henry, that police officer that would think, I can't show any weakness. Dadrick, that, that Dadrick Henry is a police officer. He's a part of the job. And I am a detective. I can handle anything, but this problem I can't handle by myself because I need financial help or else I am going to be homeless with nowhere to live as the bank in Jamaica is about to take away my house. Please, whatever you can donate to his cause by using Zelle, which is a money application, and you send any amount of the money to help Dajik any and see it there. It's right there. Zell help him. And plus, there's a link in the description. Yes, man. Hey, look. When the police force lose a man like Dadju Kenny, them lose a star, man. But Dadju Kenny, you know, when he was a police, he have a whole heap of enemy, you know, political enemy. Because you have to understand, you know, 90% of the Kingston metropolitan areas are PMP, LGBTQ plus community. That you don't care about whether you are PMP or labor, if you are criminal, you are criminal. So you know, say a whole heap of them criminal in take out in you know, so you have to understand say so the, the entire system you know, in a Jamaica you know, is PMP. Is a PMP in a Jamaica, you know. If you are PMP, then protect you and them thing. Because you know. once you are play by for them rules and them thing. You know. Because PMP party is a is a criminal organization you know. and that you, nobody can buy that you anyway. So, you know, say so make a whole, he, he had a lot of enemies. So that's why they get the chance now to hurt him and them hurt him. And you understand and dismiss him, even although they're still going against the service regulation and all of them things. Because they're supposed to, when they case, they're supposed to wait until the Privy Council ruling, but they don't even wait. You understand? But that's how it is. But I just want all of my viewers and subscribers and those who are all over the world watching him to help this um, former police officer. This was the man. Hey, that you can even see if even an officer of the United States military and his wife in Montego Bay. You understand when, um, you know, one, a, a parasite, you know, um, Jamaica terrorist, you know, abduct them after them leave the airport with knife and that you was able to save the man. So, look, man, there's so many stories. This man, this man, this man can tell you some things, man, I'm telling you. I, myself, experience things with him, being on and them thing. I'm, you understand what I'm saying? Operation. I tell him, man, you can't find, you will never find a police like this man again, man. Like that joke, Henry. And another one, you need Leroy and Iceland. I tell you, gunshots, we are back, and them, my man, are walking to it. You understand? I will if a police same deal, because he come from St. Thomas. Yes, man, him get shot a few times. But he always come back 
So we just hope him go through this thing, um, this treatment, and everything will be good. Yeah, man, thanks for watching the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Please remember to donate to Dadrick and help him. Dadrick is one of our fellow police officers, hard working detective. You understand? And to all of the police them who have served and worked with Dadrick, they want to wait until something that you can put on Facebook where you're going to represent. Represent now, man. Use your credit card and help the man. You understand? See the link below. See the Zelting. Help him. One love. Cool.